today we're going to Godel. Let's go! Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Cheetos, oh my god, brisket with the chips. Azt húzni kell. After 40 minutes of travel with the suburban railway line H8, we arrived to the beautiful city of Kotolu. We got off at the train station, which is where this train terminates, but if you want to see the castle right away, get off at the Sabachak there stop. Next to the train station, we stopped at the university, which has a stunning neo-baroque main building that was built in the 1920s and first was a school for the Order of Premontre. In front of the university, you will find the statue of Duke Kalman, who lived in the 13th century and who was a great patron of the Order of Premont. This statue commemorates this generous man. After this, we headed to the city centre and walked through a very calm and nice park called Alsho Park. checked out the university and we have three other destinations one park with a little monument but I'm not going to spoil anything uh, what else? Oh, the main square the main square and the main attraction the Grashakovic castle which is going to be beautiful and also we've heard that the Christmas house is open so we're yes. going to check that and out Mold Hot wine. What? Hot wine? Mold. Mold? Yeah. I didn't know that's what it's called, but okay, it's mold wine. And yeah. we're gonna search for a restaurant. Yeah, and we're going to eat. When do you want to have dinner? Whatever. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> okay, fine. Not, so that's the plan. Why? Apparently, that's the line for the Christmas house so it's like whatever but we're going to check it out closer well this challenge has failed well, I don't know what's inside but I don't think it's worth it it didn't look like yeah, it's not a big building at all. So, but the line was huge. I made some shots about the house itself, so it's like whatever. The but I'm line was very good. Uh, yeah, oh the smell. The smell, the smell was very good, but it was pretty expensive. Like it was two deciliters for two euros. nine. Yeah, two euros and nine hundred forints. So that's not worth it. The one is the House of Arts. What a cinema, everyone! Gotelu's main square was for me surprisingly a very lively place because a lot of people and especially a lot of children were out here even the fact that the weather was pretty cold on the main square you will find a simple but very nice reformed church 
that was built in 1745, many shops and restaurants and the World Peace Gong. This Peace Gong is such a unique thing because it was the fifth one in the world and the first one in Europe. This gong was a present from Indonesia to Hungary and it symbols fraternity between all nations. I think it's especially meaningful in these days. Our next destination was the Elizabeth Park, or in Hungarian, Erzsébet Park. This is a very beautiful park and has a beautiful story. This is one of the first memorial parks created in respect for Elizabeth, the Hungarian queen, after a tragic and unexpected death in 1898. A wonderful promenade leads to her statue, which captures a moment when she holds flowers and a parasol in her hands. Since Queen Elizabeth cherished Godolu so much, it was very likely a familiar appearance to the people who lived here. Let's go and find something to eat. Our final destination was the main attraction of this city, the Grashakovich Castle. What made our visit more special was that this place serves as a venue for the Story of Lights event from November 26th until March the 2nd. I will leave a link about it in the description. This baroque castle was built by Count Antal Grosakovic, who was the president of the Hungarian chamber and an important member of the Hungarian aristocracy in the 18th century. The palace has a very extensive park and had a church, a theatre, a riding hall, a greenhouse and an orangery. During this winter time, the greenhouse is converted into a Christmas shop, which you should not miss out when you're here. She, probably, one of them is Hoynika, who was adopted 
as a nine-year-old dog, and she's now 14. The other one is Mojaczka, adopted as well, who is uh, three years old, and she's a Duracell bunny, if anyone understands that. <laughs> We had a wonderful time in the castle park. It was a very unique experience. I really recommend it if you visit Budapest during this time. <laughs>